Welcome back, welcome back to Leo Proc They Left, they genuine love YouTube channel, man. And man, I'm just so happy to see you guys again. You know, we link up every single Sunday, you know what I'm saying, and just chop it up. But if you don't mind, do something that don't cost you a dime and take less than one minute of your time. Like, share, and subscribe to the Oprah They Left a Genuine Love YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all new content and things like that. Also visit the site OprahTheyLeftA.com so you can get all of the new apparel as well as you can get you a gratitude journal so you can write down the things that you're grateful for. And so today, man, I was just going to make it brief, but I got to make sure I stop through and chop it up because we all about being consistent and doing what we say and saying what we do. And uh, today I was just going to talk about, you know, uh, why it's so important just to show gratitude, you know. Um, I mean... It's easy for us to be negative or it's easy for us not to try to be better, you know what I'm saying? And we all have seen the results of not trying at all. Um, a lot of times when we don't try at all, uh, when we don't try to be better individuals and things like that, you know, it shows in our progress within life, it shows uh, that we're not moving along with our life as we wish we would. And, you know, we can easily look at life from a negative aspect of the things we don't have. And we can easily be complain. But it's one thing about when you start showing gratitude and being grateful for what you have and you start focusing your attention on the things that you're grateful for. Not that you don't see the things that you may be lacking or you may wish to have and things like that it's just you're going to give the most importance to the things that you already currently have and once you begin to do that what you're doing is you're increasing the value of the things that you're showing appreciation to and that's why they made the quote what you appreciate appreciates like you know how they say you know your house you may have purchased the house and when you take good care of it you show appreciation to it it appreciates in value. That price of it, the value of it goes up because it's more value um, because you've been cutting the yard, because you've been doing great plumbing work on your house, because you've been making sure your roof is taken great care of, because you actually care for it and you appreciate it. And the same thing goes as for anything in life. What we show appreciation to, man, it appreciates in value. Yeah, you may not have the car that you wish or dream of. You may not have that G-Wagon that you want. But be thankful for whatever vehicle that you have. Because guess what? Man, you able to get around. A lot of people don't have no form of transportation. Hey, you may not have a car yet. But you you have uh, public transportation. Access to public transportation where buses or trains may be coming through your way where... You able to catch the train or you able to catch the bus because guess what? Some people don't have that privilege or you may don't even have that, but you can walk. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? It's some people that don't have legs or it's some people that are crippled that it's very difficult for them to for them to get around without the assistance of others. Well, you don't have that problem. You have two great working legs, man. So be thankful you can walk to where you need to go. Cause just do what you gotta do right now and be grateful right now because you're not gonna have to do this forever, man. You're gonna be able to be the person you was created to be. As long as man, you working working hard for it, you you know what I'm saying, you being thankful, it's gonna open so many doors and so many more blessings to come around you. And because I mean faith without works is dead. So yes, have the faith and speak great things into your life, but also put in that work that needs to be put in to make sure that you accomplish your goals and things like that. So, you know, I just really want to chop it up with you because I really want to see everybody win. And I say everybody with me included because I want to win, you know what I mean? And so I'm just thankful that, that, that God can use me as an instrument to hopefully encourage someone. Because if I'm encouraging someone, man, that's all I really want to do because I know how I feel to, Feel like you down and out. Feel like, man, nobody there for you. Feel like nobody understand. Man, I've been there. And I'm really still there. But I'm not even looking at it like that. And I be careful of my words. And so, I'm not there no more. I'm already 
preparing myself for where I'm about to go next, man, and I'm going to the next level. And you are too, man. Just all you got to do is make one right choice and repeat that process. And yes, it may not be happening as fast as you want it to, but one thing about it, if you continue to plant good seeds, man, eventually those fruits that you're about to start bearing, it's going to speak for itself, man. Your progress is going to speak for itself. You don't have to explain yourself to nobody, man. Just stay true to what you know you want to do and do the right thing, man. Be grateful, man. Be thankful, man. Because somebody out there somewhere got it worse than you do, man. But as always, man, a prop they left, they genuine love to you all, man. I'll see y'all in a minute, man.